Hi guys, I hope you're having a great week. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing some different DIY riser projects. I've made several different kinds of these in the past. So I thought I would include some of those in this video as well, just for more inspiration and ideas. But today I'm working on a new one in a smaller size. And I have like a four by six photo frame on a bookshelf that I just think needs a little bit of something to give it more presence and to make it stand out. So it's definitely gonna be in the farmhouse style. And I think I'm gonna add a vinyl decal to it to dress it up even more. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing in this video. Let's get to it. For my first riser project in this video, I'm just using a piece of scrap wood that I already had ready to go. So I painted it white and let that dry. And here I'm just adding some black paint around the edges in different areas of the wood really lightly with a sponge brush to give it more of kind of a worn, rustic, older farmhouse style look. And then I will add a vinyl decal to it and I made several different ones to choose from. After the paint had dried, you can see I'm just trying out different decals that I made, just seeing which ones I liked the best for this project. I ended up choosing the word family as well as making another one with the word blessed. And I will show both of those and how I'm using them. But if you're interested in a decal like this, I do have these particular ones available in my Etsy shop as well. And I will have that linked in the description below if you'd like to check that out. I chose to use these decorative little wooden caps for the feet for my riser and I'm just going to attach them with some wood glue and let that dry. Here is how I wanted to use this smaller sized riser. I have a small picture frame that I really just wanted to kind of give a little bit more presence to, like I mentioned, so that it just stands out a little bit more on my bookshelf. And here is a look at another one that I made pretty much the same way, but I chose to use the word blessed. And I'm really happy with how these turned out. I like that I left the feet natural on these. I just think they add something really charming to this shelf. And I'm curious, would you like to see risers like these particular ones in my Etsy shop? If so, please just comment to let me know. For the next project, I chose to use this silver metal tray that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And then I also had some glass chess pieces 
some of the pieces had actually broken a while back but I kept the others thinking maybe I could come up with something to use them for and I thought they would be perfect to dress up the silver tray and turn it into a fun riser for my dresser. For my next riser project, I'm using this small piece of wood. I believe you can pick these up in most craft sections, Hobby Lobby and Michaels and so on. It already has the decorative shape and edging and so I'm just going to paint it white, let that dry, use some sandpaper to kind of rough it up a bit and give it a little bit more of a rustic farmhouse look. But I'm just going to leave this one white and then I'm going to add the natural cap feet with wood glue let that dry and this one will be done and this is the smallest one that I've done so far I thought it would be fun to do different shapes sizes and I just love these I think they add so much and they are so much fun to decorate with around the house for any season any decor you can definitely change them up however you like and they're just a fun thing and you can make them with so many different things This next riser is actually one of the first I ever made. It was from a piece of scrap cabinet board that was left over from when I redid our master closet and added the custom built-ins. And so I just cut down the piece of scrap wood to the size that I wanted and gave it a quick coat of white paint not covering the entire thing because I did want some of the natural wood to show through and have kind of a rustic kind of farmhouse style. And so that is what I went with with this one and I added some fun chunky round feet to the bottom and I just love how this one turned out. And here is another one that I made the same exact way but I added a little bit of gray paint to it and this one stays on my desk. The next riser project is super simple. I just used this wooden plank sign that I picked up at Walmart. In the craft section I just removed all the packaging and the hangers and then I attached the wood feet with wood glue and that was it. Super simple, no sanding or cutting and all of that. And these wood plank signs actually come in kind of a whitewash color as well as this darker color. And for the next project, I chose to use a rustic round from the craft section. It basically is a piece of a log or tree that shows the rings of the tree as well as the bark around the edge. It is such a fun and rustic look. I absolutely love this one. 
and so simple. I just attach the feet with wood glue, let that dry, and it's good to go. And I have so much fun decorating with this one. I have really enjoyed making these and decorating with them around my home and I may or may not end up putting some of these or something similar in my Etsy shop because I already have more ideas on what I could do but if you're new to my channel and I share a lot of budget friendly DIY home and lifestyle content if you enjoy that sort of thing if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up a like a comment to let me know I would really appreciate it and if you're new here and haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you hit subscribe and hung around. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration for ideas. And thanks for watching.